the April data are probably going to be the last that we see the effect of the prior economy having much more influence than the current uh, disruption as a result of COVID. And one thing that's really been very attractive about the Illinois market is that it has had a very consistent positive upward trend in prices over the last several years. Not as dramatic as other parts of the country, but I think it's important for us to understand that modest upward trends are probably the best from the perspective of both buyer and seller, and certainly from the perspective of the economy. So the prices are continuing to increase in the April data. However, we've begun to see the effect of the economic downturn with significant year-over-year -year declines for both Illinois and for Chicago in sales. And I think that's probably where we're going to see uh, the major increase in, uh, in the impact of the economic downturn on the economy is going to be in sales. Most analysts, I think, are going to expect sales to be depressed in the short run. And I think a lot of that is going to come from the reluctance of people still to venture outside, uh, particularly to, uh, to go visit houses they might be interested in, in purchasing. And also from the perspective of the seller, a little bit nervous about having people that they don't know uh, come look at their house. So I think we're not going to see quite uh, the same sort of declines that we've already seen for, for sales happening for prices. And I think that uh, reflects the fact that uh, both buyers and sellers are probably at the moment looking to see what's going to happen. Is this going to last? three months, six months, one year or two years. And I think until that sort of resolves itself, we'll probably see uh, prices sticky. And, and I think the, uh, the other aspect of this is the length of the recovery, the anticipation of how long it's going to take uh, is going to have a very strong influence on the housing market. If the economy comes back very rapidly uh, and there are some people who think that that will happen, then clearly this will be a potentially minor blip on the housing market. However, I think one of the uh, concerns that a lot of us have is that we're looking right now at the, the tip of the iceberg, and it's basically what's happening underneath. And in economic terms, we refer to that as the multiplier or ripple effect. So we've seen the effect of the job losses. We've seen retail stores closing. We've seen restaurants closing. Hotels have, have closed. Uh, tourism is way down. The airlines have cut back flights dramatically. That's the tip of the iceberg. What we're tracing is the indirect effects. And these um, are starting to appear in the economy as, as people are losing jobs uh, because they are not uh, able to uh, work in industries that are able to sustain themselves because the demand for their products for probably only the second or third time in the last 24 months uh, are both consistent in pointing down in terms of consumer sentiments about the economy. And there's been a sharp decline in the Fannie Mae home purchasing sentiment index. It declined more than we've seen it. Uh, since it uh, was inaugurated. So I think in the short run, uh, the impacts are likely to be uh, a little bit strong on the, uh, the sales side. And the impacts on prices, I think we're going to have to wait to see what happens in terms of recovery.